Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. This is Empress Imani, and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. So today's episode is all about live by faith. Faith is the firm belief in something for which there is no proof. If this is your first time here, I am Empress Imani, inspirational teacher of Sacred Love Lessons. I help women to honor the love within so they can manifest the life of their dreams. And this episode... We're talking about faith, magic, alchemy, and how transformation works on an energetic level. Now, faith is thought, belief, and imagination. Faith is energy. Faith is the energy that brings things to life. It's like that slogan from General Electric, we bring good things to life. Shout out to GE. According to your faith, be it unto you. And that's what the good book says in Matthew 9 and 29. This means that it is your faith that determines your outcomes in life. Now keep in mind that faith is thought. And so we all heard the lessons on thoughts become things. That is true because your thought is energy. Lessons that I have learned over the years is that faith does not look at the storm but prepares for the blessing. Two, there is no loss in divine mind. Nothing that belongs to you can be lost. Three, what is yours by divine right can never be taken away from you. You can, however, give your blessings away. When I think about faith, I always think about how we were overcoming a medical crisis with my youngest daughter. And that crisis lasted for like, more than five years. It was really severe. We had received a terminal prognosis. And during that time, I could not be moved by what I was seeing, what I was hearing, the prognosis that I was giving. I chose not to look at the storm, but instead to focus on the blessing. And I know by divine right, divine perfect health was hers. And I was focused on helping her receive her divine right blessing of perfect health. Now questions that you want to ponder during this time is one, what is the overarching theme for this season of your life? Two, what lesson am I being invited to learn right now? Because you know, life is like one big university. It's just one lesson after the other. And we're always learning. This is how you grow. This is how you expand. This is how you go to the next level in life is to learn. So what lesson am I being invited to learn right now? Number three, how can I most effectively connect with my highest vibe self this season? Those are some questions you may want to ponder this season as you go on the journey inside, the journey of self-discovery. Now, I do have some tips, some faith tips that may help you as you go on your journey of self-discovery. One, you want to make it a habit of regularly checking in with yourself to see if you've lost sight of the big picture. This awareness will help you to refocus on what matters most to you. I know the world is so noisy right now with everything that's going on, you know, in the news, just day-to-day living, that it is easy to get caught up in that. It's easy to get caught up in someone else's world, what they have going on, projects that they have. If you're working a nine to five or you're working, you know, a job for someone else, It's easy to get caught up in what they're doing versus focusing on what matters most to you. So you want to check in with yourself just to make sure you're still in focus. Number two, understand and honor your own needs before caring for others. This is a really, really big one. It's like what they say when you get the safety instructions on the airplane. Put the mask on yourself, then help someone else. So you want to do that in this case too. Honor your own needs before caring for others. Then number three, listen to your inner wisdom. Listen to your intuition. She knows the way. You know, oftentimes when we're overcoming or going through something, you know, you may voice, you may ask someone for some help and they will give you input on 
what you should be doing. But I highly recommend that you listen to your own inner wisdom. Then number four, prioritize your time and energy for you to manifest your desires versus you're manifesting other people's dreams. Everyone must carry their own water. However, there are people who are lazy and selfish and they will get you to try to carry their water. You notice how people, you know, they have all these people centered around them where they're the focal point and you're doing all the work on their behalf, helping them achieve what they want out of life, but you're not achieving what you want out of life. So you want to prioritize your time and energy so you can manifest the life of your dreams. So I'm going to stop here. This is our part one of Live by Faith. We'll come back next week and we'll go over part two. And I'll give you practical steps on how to manifest with your faith. Until we speak again, be the light.